the economy is crashing for people. It's doing very well for the banks, but we have to build other economies. And in these other economies, the currency is life. Away from the fiction of corporations which are destroying our societies through their greed and the fiction of money as well to creation of real wealth. After all, our health is real wealth. Our freedom is real wealth. Our communities are real wealth. Our seeds are real wealth. They don't want farmers to have their own seed. So in Europe, they've created a new seed legislation. The kind of laws being put in place allows these companies to use governments and courts to sue. The state has no business to say, you can't use your grandfather's seed. Got to save your seed because it's a source of freedom. And then you've got to have the courage to say no to unjust law. As Gandhi said, as long as unjust law exists, so long would slavery exist. And you have to have the fearlessness and courage to obey higher laws, the higher laws of ecology, the higher laws of justice. Ecology requires that we save seeds for the future. Justice requires the freedom of farmers to have their seed. We have a duty to not cooperate with these fast laws that are being created by industry. And that I have given a call for 2nd October, which is Gandhi's anniversary, around the world to say, we will not obey these fast laws. We will seek see freedom. And I hope in Greece, which is both so important as a land of diversity, but also so important as a land for understanding life with some of the deepest philosophy, not just Greece to find another way, but Europe to find another way and the world to find another way. Producing your own food, in my view, is the most important transition and everyone must become a seed saver. Save a seed in a pot, in a balcony. We should turn our rooftops into gardens which are seed sanctuaries. Because the seed it is centuries of evolution, a gift of our ancestors, and needs to be saved as a gift for future generations.